Let's take a look at the example of the free particle. So we have the wave function psi of x comma zero equals some real constant a if x is between negative a and positive a and zero otherwise. So the, the question is we have to find psi of x and 0, I mean psi of x and t. Okay, so first thing we have to normalize this wave function. So 1 is equal to the integral from negative infinity to infinity of psi star psi, right? or psi squared dx so if we integrate we get the module square of a times the integral from negative a to a dx and this should be equal to 1 solving for a we get a this is a normalization constant equals to 1 divided by square root of 2a, small a. Alright, so now we're going to use this equation from the previous video. From the previous video, we have this equation phi of k equals 1 divided by square root of 2 pi times the integral from negative infinity to infinity of psi x comma zero times e to the minus i k x dx. So we're gonna use this equation here to find our phi of k which is 1 divided by square root of 2 pi, right, times 1 divided by square root of 2a, this is the normalization constant, times the integral from negative infinity to infinity of e to the minus i k x dx. Doing this integral we get 1 divided by 2 square root of pi times a times e to the minus i k x divided by minus i times k integrating from negative a to a carry on we get 1 divided by k times square root of pi times a times e to the i k a minus e to the minus i k a divided by 2i. If you remember from Calc 2, this is the same as 1 divided by square root of 2 I mean square root of pi a times the sine of k a divided by k. So this is our phi function phi of k. So now we can take this phi function and plug it back into the uh, into the other equation to find psi of x and t. Remember this is Fourier transform. So now psi of x and t is equal to 1 divided by pi square root of 2a I mean square root of pi times a No, I was right. Square root of 2a times the integral 
from negative infinity to infinity of sine of k times a divided by k times e to the i times k times x minus h bar k square divided by 2m times t dk there you have it this is the wave function uh, psi of x and t you cannot term you cannot solve this integral in terms of fundamental functions however you can solve it numerically but we're gonna leave it in this form 